In this video, I will show you how to repair a broken line without using a sewing machine. There are several reasons that you might need to fix the lines. Lines stretch and shrink, so several times you need to reset the lines so they all have the same size. Other times the lines break and we can fix them. For schools, sometimes we need short lines or sectioned ones. With this method, you can fix them all without using a sewing machine. The biggest issue is that to make sure all the lines have the same length, in the end, you have to fix them all at the same time. I Meaning you can't just repair one to match the other one's size. For that, the sewing machine method is better. My name is Thiago Rocha, and if you like these videos, please click the subscribe button or activate the notifications to find out when the next video is released. Also, leave a comment about this video, any recommendations or questions in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. First, we need to make sure the lines have the same line length. So for that, we connect them in one fixed point in one of the extremities of the line. Before starting, we need to mark the lines. To help mark them, we use one or two IKEA clips, the ones that are used to close bags, in order to help keep the lines all together before we mark them. Then, from the point you want to cut the lines, count 10 centimeters and make the first mark. Then add 10 more centimeters and mark again. You should have one mark at 10 centimeters from the end and another one at 20 centimeters from the end. First, we want to open the line on the second mark. For that, we need to grab the line and push it together to open up the fibers. This way, it will be easier to pass a needle or just open it with a pen. This tool makes it easier to work with the line. Once the hole is open, you just pass the line inside of the hole, making sure the first marker passes to the opposite side. Once that mark is on the opposite side, you do the same thing. You open it on that point and you pass the needle again. Now you make sure that the second hole that you just opened, the whole loop is going to pass through. For this, the tools really makes it easier. With a pen and trying to open it, it's a little bit harder. Once you've done this, you see the lines is already making kind of an eight figure, blocking it already from sliding. Now you may to make sure that it's even harder for it to untangle by opening again next to the eight figure and passing the line back up. Once you have done this, we need to get the line to go inside and finish it. We pick up this tool that looks like a bent wire and slide it to the inside of the line two or three centimeters further away than the piece we want to get inside. To make it easier, don't push the tool but help the line to open up and go on to the tool. Go until the base of the loop before exiting. Then lock the end of the line on the tool so you can pull the line inside. Just put a little tip on the tool because it leaves a lot of it and then it gets harder to get the line to go back in. Help the line to go in. Again, don't pull the line or the metal part, just help the line to go in on top of the, of the metal part. Once the line comes out at the end, just pull the line to close it all inside and finalize the loop. Then just pass your hand to close it in. Just repeat this for the other four lines and you're ready to go. If you broke the lines, you have to do it eight times. Also make sure the safety is not dependent on the line thickness. If it is, make sure you have at least one kite span of line connected to the safety. Then what you do is you connect the lines and a loop to loop connection. Basically one loop passing in through the other loop. And this is how you fix your lines. Hope this video is helpful. If you have a school and you need to shorten your lines, or if you just broke your line and you're in a place that you're not able to get new ones, and the only way for you to replace them is to fix them. Or if you're like me and you don't like to buy new things all the time, you can reuse them. The environment will for sure appreciate it. The tools I used are described in the link below and these make it a lot easier to fix the lines. You can also do it without them. 
just bend a little bit of wire to make to pull the line and use a pen to open the holes it's a little bit harder but it's still doable if you like these videos and you want to know more about kite surfing click the subscribe button and activate the notifications to find out when the next video is coming out here you can subscribe to our channel and here you can check another video just click it see you on the next video just click and i see you on the next one